Hi there. How can I help you? I got something really cool. I have what I believe to be an Aztec death whistle. OK, looks like my boss on a good day. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to sell what I believe is an Aztec whistle. I believe this whistle to be rare because I went to a couple of museums, and the people there knew nothing about this. I'm hoping to get $500 for my Aztec whistle. This is really cool. It looks to me like it would have been an Aztec death whistle. And I don't know if that's something that the Aztecs called it or if that's just something that it was named for after years and years of studying it. There's a few speculations of what it could be used for. Some people say it could have been used for healing, and some people say it could have been used for ceremonies. But I think the explanation that makes the most sense to me is it would have been used in war. These things sound horrific. Have you ever blown this one? Uh, yes, I have, as a matter of fact. So you know it sounds like screeching death. You mind if I touch it a little and look at it? Yeah, please. So these would have just been made out of a kiln-fired clay. I mean, you can feel it right away and tell that it feels like clay. It does have some really cool aging on it. You can see the white in here, kind of where it has aged. And it's got a little fading on the paint right here and some small cracks that are typical, you know, in clay firings. I'm guessing it's a, it looks like a face. I don't know if this would be like a mask or a face or something like that. The Aztecs, they were known for carving, you know, faces out of all kinds of stuff. Mm. What are you looking to do with it? I'm hoping to sell it for $500. OK, I mean, $500 seems like a steal for this, I'll be honest with you, if it's real. It looks good, but at the end of the day, it's a piece of fired clay, so it's not hard to fake. I'd like to have someone come check it out. If this is real, it's probably worth more than $500. Hmm. So do you have some time for me to get someone down here? Yeah, sure, that'd be fine. All right, give me a few minutes to make a phone call, and um, I'll let you know what's going on after that. Sounds good. My biggest concern is the expert may say that this is something that was made in the last 50 years at a trinket shop. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Emily, how are you? Hey. I'm Bob. Bob, Steve, hi. Good to meet you. What do we have today? Well, this gentleman says he has an Aztec whistle, and looking at it, it seems to be in the style of a death whistle to me, but this kind of stuff is much more commonly faked, so I do have my concerns. So out of every authentic Aztec whistle, there's got to be a hundred fakes. So from here, it looks fabulous. But mind if I take a look? Please do. Don't worry, he's very gentle. Oh, God, wow. I have been looking for these for 30 plus years. I've read about them. I've seen pictures of them. I have never seen one. Death whistles are a very rare commodity in the ancient art. I have known about Aztec death whistles since I started collecting over 30 years ago. I've been looking for one. I've never seen one. I've asked every dealer if they've seen one. The opportunity to actually see and have one in your hand is like finding the Holy Grail. So, death whistle, designed to scare the living bejesus out of you. Uh, more than likely, it was used by a warrior. So you take it into battle, you're running, you reach for it, you screech, and if you've got a hundred guys beside you, each of you screeching, there is no army in the world from this time period that isn't going to just turn tail and run. The things that I'm looking for specifically, there are these little black dots on here. And those black dots are the result of manganese, a mineral being leached out of the soil and growing onto the pottery. So does that mean it would have been buried in the dirt at some point? So this was definitely buried in the dirt. And how long would it take for those black dots to start appearing? Uh, they will appear in about 100 years, but for them to get this size and that many, five, 600 years, it's just amazing. Absolutely authentic. The million dollar question, does it work? The value was really predicated on whether this works. You want to give it a whistle for us? Yeah, sure, be glad to. Oh, I can't wait to hear. Hang on to your hat. Oh, it works, and wow. I imagine that's how it's supposed to sound. It's real, <laughs> <laughs> it's valuable. And how much would you say it's worth? Oh, geez, because there are so few of these on the market, I can easily see this selling for 5,000 bucks. Whoa. Yeah. That much? That much. Wow. Okay, well, thanks for coming in. Ooh. 
You are a lucky guy, chum. I would have been luckier if I didn't call you in and just bought it, <laughs> but... All right. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. You bet. Bye-bye. You don't want the 500 anymore, do you? Uh, the $5,000 sounds a whole lot better now. What about 1500 Hmm, how about 4700 Doesn't look like you're going to budge too much. 2500 is going to be my max. 2500 huh? Hmm. I think I'll uh, take it and maybe see if I can sell this someplace else, knowing the better true value of it. All right, well, I'll tell you what. As long as the market stays the same, my offer will stand. You can bring it in and get 2500 anytime. Just ask for Chum. That sounds incredibly fair. All right, have a good day. Thanks for bringing it in. Thank you very much. $2,500 does sound good. I think I'll take this whistle and try and sell it someplace else.